Welcome to Sata Tech. Let's take a look at customizing our quick settings. So the quick settings are these top list of kind of quick toggles in our notification panel. They have access to our Wi-Fi, our sound, Bluetooth, screen rotation, a flashlight, airplane mode, and even if we swipe down, we have access to quite a bit more. And we can see that they're kind of more of a grid layout with icons now, and I can even swipe over to a second page. What's great, if I wanted to quickly turn off Wi-Fi, just tap on the Wi-Fi icon and it turns it off. You notice that anything that's highlighted in blue is on, anything that's kind of grayed out is off. Now if I tap back on Wi-Fi, it's going to turn Wi-Fi back on. What's really cool here is that we can actually get a little bit more granular with our settings. So now if I tap on the actual Wi-Fi SSID or the network name, I can actually quickly launch into Wi-Fi and join a different network or even quickly launch some details and get down into the Wi-Fi settings. The same will happen say with Bluetooth. If I tap on the Bluetooth, I can actually turn Bluetooth on and see any devices I'm paired with. And the flashlight has a cool option to where I have five different levels of brightness for the flashlight before I even turn it on and I can adjust those brightness just using the slider. Now the whole point of this is that we can actually customize where these icons lay on the screen. So if we tap in the top right hand corner, we can do button order. So I'm going to tap on button order and you see there are even two that are not listed here that I can go ahead and drag out and just put into this panel as well. Now keep in mind that the first six icons are the ones that are going to be seen on the top of the screen when you pull down your notification panel. So if I swipe down you see I have the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi sound, the rotation, flashlight, and airplane mode. When I pull them down they all kind of go to a 4x4 grid layout. So now when I do the button order, keep that in mind because now if I want to say put performance mode right here where airplane mode was, that will now show in those six icons at the top of the screen. And so you can adjust these and relay them out however you wanted to and put the ones you want frequent access to in the front of the page and the ones you don't want to in the back of the page. So go ahead and tap done and the layout has been saved. Now the last setting here in this quick panel is the actual button grid. Currently by default it's set to a 4x3 but we can also set it to a 5x3 and even a 3x3. Then you see that those icons adjust based upon the grid layout. Personally, I prefer the 5x3, it gives me more icons to look at, and I don't have to swipe over as much on the second panel, because I can get most of everything that I want here on the first screen. Now there is also the other area down below where our screen brightness is, and if I tap on the toggle down below, I can actually have the screen brightness show above everything, and I can even disable and enable auto brightness. So now that I've shown the control on top, you can see now that we let go, and pull it back down. The screen brightness is now on this little panel as well as all the six little icons that we had before. And again, we can disable this by tapping down, show control on top, tap done, and now you see the control is no longer there. That is how you customize your quick settings here on your Galaxy Note 8. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.